Shalom, praise the Lord. Welcome to our brief Bible reflections. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Today we are looking at Psalm 55 and I'll read verse 1 and 2. The Bible says, Give ear to my prayer, O God, and hide not yourself from my plea for mercy. Attend to me and answer me. I am restless in my complaint and I mourn. This is a psalm of David, where David is ex expressing himself before God without shame. He's so open with God and he's asking or pleading with God that God may give ear to his prayer. Secondly, he's telling God, hide not yourself from me. When we look at these two things, there are times when we pray and we see as though God is not listening to us. We feel as if God is not answering our prayers. It is not uh, 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 an issue to tell God to give ear to your prayer. We should not shy off from pleading with God and expressing ourselves before God in this manner. David is even telling God, hide not yourself from my plea for mercy. There are times when we go through situations and we feel as though God has hid his face he has withdrawn his face from us. It is okay to tell God not to hide himself from you so that he may show you his mercy. There are times things are not so easy and we feel like, oh, God is so far away. We may feel so, but God is so near us and there is no problem expressing ourselves before God. Because we can only pretend to our fellow human beings. There are times when we, you know, we pretend like all is well, I am okay, I am coping. No, there are things that we cannot hide at all, at all, and especially before God. Especially like, you know, when you pray and nothing seems to happen. Tell God, give ear to my plea. Give ear to my prayer. and. Do not hide yourself from me. He is pleading with God for mercy. David again tells God this. This is the third thing. Attend to me. Are there times when you go before God, when you present your issues before God, but you feel as though you are not well attended? Don't shy off to plead with God to attend to you. He's such a loving God. And so when we surrender ourselves and we express ourselves before God this way, our burdens are lifted. He's there to, you know, to, to, to lift us again and to give us a new beginning. Attend to me. The, third, the, 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 the fourth thing he says is that answer me. David is so candid with God. And what we are learning from David from these two verses is that he had a personal relationship with God. You cannot talk to God this way if he is just, you know, another being out there. Or you just run to him as we've been talking the last two days, reading from the book of Proverbs, that, you know, the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run unto it and they are safe. Or the righteous run unto God and they are safe. And we say that we do not just run to God when we fall into crisis. This is an indication that David had a personal relationship with God and he's not a one person who was running to God only when he fell into crisis. He seems to have had a relationship with God. And so God is calling us to cultivate our relationship with him so that even when we feel as though it is so dry, it is so hard and we need God to give ear to our prayer, we are pleading that he, do not, he does not hide his face from us and again pleading with him to attend and answer us. David expresses himself before God so openly that I am restless. In my complaint and I mourn. I am restless. When we are with our friends, with our fellow human beings, we may try to cover up, showing like we are okay. It is well, I'm fine. But when you go before God, just express yourself before him. Tell him, I am restless. I need your attention. 
come through for me, O oh God. And he's always very ready and willing to attend to our prayers. May God bless you. God keep you. Plead with God openly, freely. He's such a loving God. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Shalom.